breaking news. Anderson County crews are taking a closer look at more than a dozen roads after heavy rain washed away or closed several of them over the last two days. 7 News' Asia Wilson went along with the crews as they surveyed those roads. Anderson County crews tell me majority of those closures are near culverts and bridges where water is coming from low points over the roads. Teams have been working all day to assess the damage. Many Anderson County roads surrounded by cones and caution tape. After days of heavy rainfall. We've had 73 roads flooded total between both days. Director of Anderson County Emergency Services says most of them are in the northern part of the county. Leaving some people stranded in high water. Did a total of three um, technical rescues, swift water rescues, up in that area, and an additional one in the southern part of the county, actually just across the Abbeville County line. Crews have been assessing seven impacted roads, many of which are near culverts, drainages, ditches, and small streams. They're being inspected now to for safety. Matt Hogan, the manager for Anderson County Road and Bridges, says only 15 roads remain temporarily closed. I know there's a lot of shoulders that have washed away. When, when water comes up over the road, it tends to wash the embankment off on the other side. Five bridges are closed indefinitely until crews make repairs. Some of those include Massey, Fire Tower, Scotts Bridge Roads, all in Williamston. They closed because they're unpassable. As crews continue to pick up the pieces from recent and past storms. We still have roads from two years that are, aren't still aren't open. So that tells you we're not, we still haven't caught up from those. We're sending this message to everyone for the future. I want to caution our, our, our citizens and, and folks that are listening, you know, always be very, very cautious, especially when you see water in the roadway. It's always better to turn around and find an alternate route. Um, because you just don't know what's under that water. Anderson County Road and Bridges crews tell me the five roads closed for work should reopen in a couple of weeks following repairs. In Anderson County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. And the Anderson County Emergency Services Director says if you see any damage or experience any flooding, it is important to report those immediately.